Hi guys, this is Rahul from Simply Learn and today we'll be talking about 10 certifications that will help you grow in your career in the year 2019. At number 10, we have digital marketing. First, let's go through some of the options that you have. There are certifications by Google, Facebook, HubSpot, Hootsuite and Simply Learn. So from Google, you have the Google Ads Fundamentals Certification, the Facebook Certified Planning Professional Certification, HubSpot's Content Marketing Certification, the Hootsuite Social Marketing Certification and Simply Learn's Digital Marketing Specialist Master's Program. Now there are a few prerequisites before you can start any of these certifications. Firstly, you need to know the best practices when it comes to online advertising, how you can manage and optimize ad campaigns on social media like Facebook and Google, understanding how brand awareness, ad performance, and campaign optimization works and how online advertising can help you meet your clients goals. Now some of the job profiles that are open to you are digital marketing analyst, SEO specialist, SEM manager, digital marketing manager and other fields that you could get into are content marketing, email marketing, social media marketing and so on. Now let's talk about how much they cost and the average salary that you get. Now the examination fees can go up to $1,499, however you do get certain certifications for free like the Google Ads Fundamentals and the HubSpot's Content Marketing. Now the average salary goes up to $87,000 per annum but this does increase significantly as your years of experience increase. Now some of the companies that require such certifications are Amazon, Warner Bros, Colgate, Coca-Cola and so on. Now let's go to number 9, Networking. Now some of the more prominent certifications that you can find with networking are the Cisco Certified Network Associate which is a associate or beginner level certification which has various fields like the CCNA Cloud, Collaboration, Cyber Ops, Data Center, Industrial and so on. Then you have the Cisco Certified Network Professional which is the professional level certification with an advanced level of knowledge which shows more expertise with networking skills. Then you have the Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert and the Wireshark Certified Network Analyst. Now you do have prerequisites in this case as well because you need to know how the system and cloud networks work, how they're installed, how they work and how they can be maintained. You need to be able to design system configuration, to direct system installation and to ensure that certain system standards are met. You need to ensure that the integrity of the network infrastructure is able to provide maximum performance. You need to also understand how you can perform disaster recovery and protect data, software and hardware from malicious attacks. Now some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a network specialist, network engineer, network administrator and network architect. The exam fees in this case ranges from $299 to $1400. The average salary is about $112,000 per annum. Now some of the companies that require the certification are IBM, Microsoft, Cisco, AWS and so on. And next up we have number 8, Business Intelligence. Now, some of the certifications that are offered to you are the Tableau Desktop Specialist and the Tableau Server Qualified Associate, the Microsoft Certification of Analyzing and Visualizing Data with Microsoft Power BI, ClickView Business Analyst and the SAS Certified BI Content Developer. Now, apart from this, Simply Learn also provides certifications in each of these technologies. Some of the prerequisites before you can take these certifications are to have a good understanding of business intelligence tools such as Tableau, Power BI, ClickView and SaaS. You need to know about the ETL, also known as Extract, Transform and Loading Data. You need to know about the fundamentals of database and query languages like SQL. And you need to have expertise when it comes to visualization. Now some of the job profiles that you have access to are that of a Tableau developer, a Power BI developer, ClickView developer and Business Intelligence Analyst. The examination fees in this case ranges from $125 to $250. The average salary of someone certified with these certifications is about $117,000 per annum. Now some of the companies that use these certifications are IBM, Microsoft, Deloitte, BMW and so on. And now we are at number 7, Project Management. Now let's have a look at some of the certifications. Firstly, we have the Project Management Professional and the Certified Associate in Project Management Certification provided by the Project Management Institute. Now let's talk about PMP or the Project Management Professional Certification. Now for this, you need to complete 35 hours of project management education and the certificate is valid for three years and after three years, if you want to hold on to that certificate, you have to have acquired 60 PDUs or Professional Development Units during the three year cycle. 
Now let's talk about CAPM or the Certified Associate in Project Management Certification. Now to hold on to that certification, you need to retake the exam every 5 years. Next we have the Prince2 Foundation and Practitioner Certification which have a very high 55% pass mark for both the Foundation and Practitioner examinations. Then you have the Certified Scrum Master Certification and the Agile Scrum Master Certification. Now here are the prerequisites when it comes to these certifications. You need to understand the strategic and operational areas in project management. You need to have domain knowledge when it comes to leading edge technologies. You need to be perfect when it comes to all the aspects of project management for the entire life of the project and experience in managing large scale cross divisional projects. Now some of the job profiles that are offered to you are that of a project manager, project coordinator and scrum master. Now the examination fees for these certifications ranges from $295 to $405. The average salary of someone certified is about 106,000 US dollars per annum. Now some of the companies that require these certifications are Dell, VMware, Boeing, HP, SAP and so on. And here we have number 6, Cyber Security. Now let's have a look at some of the certifications offered. Firstly, we have the Certified Information Systems Security Professional Certification. This is provided by IC Square. Now they also provide other certifications like SSCP, CCSP, CAP and CSSLP under a wide range of accredited security certifications. Now the ISACA provides two certifications when it comes to cybersecurity like the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control Certification. Now the CISM or the Certified Information Security Manager is intended for those people who have the knowledge and experience required to develop and manage an enterprise information security system. The CRISC or the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control Certification is an advanced certification in risk management. Finally, we have the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. Now this is one of the certifications that helps reinforce the fact that ethical hacking is a unique and self-regulating profession. Now here are the prerequisites when it comes to these certifications. You need to be well versed in programming languages like .NET, Java, Python, c -sharp, as well as other web services like REST and SOAP. Understanding of cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud and so on. You need to have experience in configuring and working with security tools such as firewalls, antivirus softwares, patch management systems and so on. You also need to know about virtualization and operating systems like Windows and Linux. Now the job profiles that are open to you are that of a security administrator, a cyber security engineer, the cyber security solutions architect and cyber security analyst. Now the examination fees for these certifications range from $415 to $950. The average salary of someone certified with these certifications is $131,000 per annum. Now some of the companies that use these certifications are HP, Moody, Wipro, Boeing and so on. Now we are at number 5, CRM or Customer Relationship Management. Now let's have a look at some of these certifications. Firstly, you have three certifications provided by Salesforce, which are the Salesforce Administrator, Salesforce Platform Developer and Salesforce Platform App Builder. Now Salesforce provides two certifications in CRM, one is that of an Administrator and the other which is that of a Developer. Then you have the SAP CRM certification which is provided by the company SAP. Now this is the kind of certification where it's recommended that you combine educational courses and hands-on experience to help you prepare for your certification exam. Then you have the Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Simply Learn Salesforce certification training. Now this is designed to ensure that you learn and master the concepts of being a Salesforce administrator and a Salesforce platform app builder. Now some of the prerequisites for these certifications are a strong knowledge of front-end technologies like HTML and JavaScript. You need to be clear with at least one programming language like Java, c -sharp, or .NET. You need to know the fundamentals of database and REST APIs and about how customer relationship management tools work. Now some of the job profiles that are open to you are CRM Manager, CRM Strategist, Salesforce Administrator and CRM Developer. Now the exam fees for these certifications range from $250 to $1499. The average salary for someone certified with these certifications are $135,000 per annum. Now some of the companies that use the certification are Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Wells Fargo and so on. 
now we are at number 4 big data now let's have a look at some of these certifications firstly we have the cloud era certifications you have the cca spark and hadoop developer the cca administrator and the cca data analyst certifications now cloud era has many certifications when it comes to big data and what we mentioned here are the most popular ones after you're done with the cca certifications or the cloud era certified associate certifications you can go for the ccp or the cloud era certified professional certifications next we have certifications from hortonworks which are the hdp certified developer big data hadoop the hdp apache spark developer and hortonworks certified associates certification now these certifications require you to master the hortonworks hadoop distribution and test your practical knowledge of big data hadoop and spark then we have the simply learn certifications of big data hadoop and spark developer big data and hadoop administrator and big data architect masters program now let's talk about some of the prerequisites before you can take this certification. Firstly, you need in-depth experience in developing data engineering solutions on Hadoop and other related platforms. You need to know the fundamentals and have an understanding of traditional Hadoop systems, Cloudera CDH and Hortonworks data platform. You need to have working knowledge of Hadoop's HDFS, Yarn, MapReduce, Scoop, Hive and Impala along with Apache Spark and related technologies. ETL and SQL knowledge will definitely work out to your advantage. Now some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a Big Data Solutions Architect, a Big Data Administrator, a Big Data Developer and a Big Data Analyst. Now the examination fee for these certifications range from $100 to $1299. The average salary when it comes to someone certified with these certifications are about $137,000 per annum. Now some of the companies that use these certifications are NVIDIA, GoDaddy, PayPal, HP and so on. At number 3 we have DevOps. Now let's talk about some DevOps certifications. Simply Learn provides three certifications, one of them being the DevOps Architect which is a master's program, DevOps certification and the Chef, Puppet, Ansible and Selenium certifications. Now these certification courses will help you become an expert in all the tools and technologies that are used in the DevOps approach. You'll become an expert in the principles of continuous development and deployment, automation of configuration management, inter-team collaboration, and IT service agility. You'll be using modern DevOps tools like Git, Docker, Jenkins, Ansible, Nagios, Cucumber, and so on. You also have an AWS certification, the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Now, you need to be good with the concepts of both AWS and DevOps to get this certification. Now, some of the prerequisites for these certifications are that you need to know how the DevOps lifecycle is and DevOps tools. You need to know about programming languages, about the fundamentals of building, coding, testing, integrating and maintaining a software project and experience in working with DevOps tools on cloud platforms. Some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a DevOps architect, a DevOps engineer, a DevOps manager and a DevOps systems administrator. The examination fees for these certifications range from $150 to $799. The average salary of someone certified with these certifications are about $143,000 per annum. Some of the companies that use these certifications are IBM, Lenovo, Cisco, Netflix and so on. And now we are at number 2 which is cloud computing. Now before we get into the certifications, you guys should know that cloud computing is a booming industry that provides a large amount of high paying jobs for those people who have the right technical skills to create solutions on the cloud. Now each of the famous cloud vendors have their own certification. The most popular ones are the AWS Solutions Architect certification, the Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect certification, the Google Professional Cloud Architect certification and we also have a certification from IC Square which is the Certified Cloud Security Professional certification. Some of the prerequisites for these certifications are a good understanding of cloud solutions which are provided by AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. You need to have at least a year of hands-on experience on designing available, cost-efficient and fault-tolerant systems on AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. You need to have hands-on experience using compute, networking, storage and database services and hands-on experience when it comes to deploying and maintaining cloud solutions. Some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a cloud architect, cloud engineer, cloud software developer and the cloud system administrator. The examination fee for these certifications range from $150 to $549. The average salary for someone certified with these certifications are about $142,000 per annum. Some of the companies that use these certifications are IBM, Microsoft, Google, VMware and so on. 
and finally we are at number one data science and machine learning now when it comes to this category you can opt for simply learn certifications in data science simply learn provides certifications like data science with python data science with r data science with sas and a data scientist masters program we have course advisors who are influencers in the world of data science and machine learning the masters program helps you master skills and tools like statistics hypothesis testing clustering decision trees r studio data visualization and so much more some of the prerequisites when it comes to data science certifications, you need to be able to design, develop and execute solutions to solve business problems. You need to have a great level of expertise when it comes to mathematical models, numerical analysis and statistics and need to have working knowledge of at least one programming language. You also need to have the ability to wrangle data which is to clean, manipulate and organize the data. You also need to know how you can visualize these results. And you need to know the fundamentals of machine learning algorithms and how you can implement them. Some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a data scientist, data analyst, data engineer and data architect. The examination fee for these certifications range from $599 to $1299. The average salary of someone certified in these certifications is $140,000 per annum. Some of the companies that use these certifications are IBM, Microsoft, Google, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan and so on. Let's have a look at the machine learning certifications. Firstly, we have the machine learning with TensorFlow certification provided by the Google Cloud Platform. Here, you're experimenting with end-to-end -end machine learning, starting from building a machine learning focused strategy and progressing into model training, optimization and productionalization with hands-on labs using the Google Cloud Platform. Then we have the Simply Learn certifications, which are the machine learning certification, deep learning with TensorFlow certification and the Artificial Intelligence Engineer, which is a master's program. Now with these certifications, you're able to master machine learning concepts and techniques, including supervised and unsupervised learning, mathematical and heuristic aspects, hands-on modeling to develop algorithms and, and all sorts of preparation for the role of a machine learning engineer. Some of the prerequisites before these certifications are to create and maintain machine learning solutions to solve business problems, having a good degree of experience when it comes to implementing machine learning algorithms, knowledge of any of the popular programming languages like Python, R and Java, and data engineering skills such as experience in pre-processing, ETL and database management. Some of the job profiles that are open to you are that of a machine learning engineer, machine learning scientist, deep learning engineer and AI engineer. The examination fee for these certifications range from $60 to $799 and the average salary for someone certified with these certifications is $140,000 per annum. Some of the companies that use these certifications are Nvidia, Adobe, Boeing, Facebook and so on. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope it has inspired you to grow in your career by learning and mastering something new this upcoming year. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.